And that will give him a lot of confidence. He knows now that he can hit a double. He scored quite well. So, you know, he could go on from here. Well, indeed. Uh, kicked off with a 140. Only took two darts to hit the double. So maybe Mr. Priestley's got a game on. Not that Dennis, for one moment, will have underestimated this guy. He's far, far too cagey for that, isn't he? 83. Yeah, he's a st total pro, is Dennis Priestley. He really is. He doesn't take anybody lightly. He goes into every game exactly the same. And, and you were saying how fit he keeps himself. I've known Dennis for 20 years, and uh, he has been a very fit man all his life. And I think that's that sustained a good performance that he is strong and fit all the time. So I was reading one journalist this morning, I don't mind naming him, Derek McGovern, uh, having a right old beef about the dark players. Really was a very cynical and uh, uncalled for piece in my view. And uh, I want to give it a try sometimes, Derek, and admire people like Dennis Priestley who uh, really do put heart and soul and everything into it. Physical fitness, in his case, is certainly important. I think anybody would agree in Phil Taylor's case too. And indeed, so many of these players on this hockey know now the importance of diet, exercise, and of course practice. Hours and hours and hours of it. Try and perfect their particular trade. Well, some reporters are quick to slag off, you know, the physique of some of the dark players, but I can name you nearly every sport where there's players that are overweight like golf 59. i mean there's a lot of golfers that are carrying a few pounds but do they, they don't say nothing about them it's just you can't beat the enthusiasm and the, and, the, and the excitement of this short format john it really does get the crowd going as we proved we sell out in in days and the, and the program is absolutely first class from sky so just because one or two reporters don't enjoy it we don't care about them <laughs> So, Dennis Priestley to level up once 140 in this opening leg. That's not a bad start. Another one of those will leave double 10. So, a chance for French to go two up here. Can he take out 103? Not impossible. Well, this could put a Matt cat amongst the pigeons if he does take it out. A little bit treble 20 now, but double 12. That was why would so Dennis is going to come back to even this first set up. Topsy one cent for one leg all. And by the way, as Priestley aims at double top, I've just seen an absolute belting man sitting in his commentary box with Des Lant, Dave Lanning. We're looking down below now. At double 19, he gets it. Where Kevin Painter squeezed through against Matt Clark. And I can tell you folks right now, Kevin Painter is with Stuart Pike. Well, only 26 there from Warren French. And uh, Dennis Priestley, that pronounced lean forward. We do have uh, Stuart Pike down, I believe, with uh, Kevin Painter, who managed to squeeze home after that uh, remarkable finish. We will be with them shortly, folks. Yeah, that was a great game with Painter and Clark, and uh, sometimes when you've been real close like game like that in the first round and come through it, you know, it really does spur you on for the rest of the uh, competition. Priestley gives his all. Kevin wow. Painter gave his all. So too Matt Clark. Stuart, I think you're with Kevin now. You got there in the end, the first seed to make it through, but you must have been under unbelievable pressure. Wow. The pressure there, Stuart, was ridiculous. Honestly, that is uh, 
it was a tough, tough game. Um, you know, you, you got to feel for Matt as well there. You know, either of us have lost that. It was a, it was a real kick there in, in the solars. But um, you know, we, the first four sets was very average. You know, when it, when it got down to the last set, and that we both played really well and started to think, you know, neither of us wanted to lose that. But uh, just yeah, glad to get through. Mentally, you must have been aware of the fact that. It's becoming, fast becoming, the, the graveyard for the seeds, this World Championship. Well, to be honest, I didn't know that. I didn't know that every seed had been knocked out. Um, I'm glad you never told me beforehand, either, because, you know, that's the talent in the game now is ridiculous. You know, it, anyone can take anyone out. You know, it's not all about the top 32 players. There's a... There's hundreds of great dark players at the PDC, and they're all great players. Just tell me about that seven wow. final leg shootout. I guess in the end, it all came down to bottle. You both had darts to win it before you finally did. Yeah, I mean, I don't think. It, I mean, it was all down to bottle, but it wasn't like Matt bottled it. You know, um, neither of us could break each other's throw. Matt played brilliant. I played brilliant. Got to five all. Just hit a couple of big scores right when it mattered, and uh, obviously that double eight last start. Uh, Double H let me down a lot over this year and uh, it come to my rescue, thank God for that. You played Carlos Rodriguez, the, the king of Spain, in round two. Oh, I didn't know he was the king, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's not a problem. Uh, I'm, I'm quite happy now. Now I'm in the second round. Uh, I know Col Carlos is a great player. Um, I can settle down there. It's all about getting through the first round here because the pressure is ridiculous. Semi-final last year, any reason you can't do that or even better it. there's no reason why I can't do that you know every player will tell you the same they all fancy their chances there you know we all know that Phil is here to you know he's the one to be beaten Barney will have a lot to say about it, so will James Wade but there's the rest of us we can all play darts to it you know you know none of us are mugs not a lot of us get a lot of publicity you know because it's all about Phil Barney and James Wade there's a lot of great dart players about and perhaps a few of them should get a mention now and again enjoy your Christmas thanks very much I will do thank you Stuart Back to job in the commentary box. Yeah, cheers, Stuart. Oh, yes, Kevin will enjoy his Christmas. I hope Matt Clark does too. It won't be as easy for him, but uh, terrific game. And tops now for Priestley, who won that last leg, of course, to level up at one all, and now has gone 2-1 ahead. So, uh, Warren French 